In this video, I want to talk about some operations with polynomials. In particular, I want to talk about adding polynomials. So let's look at an example. We have two polynomials here that we want to add. We want to add 5x squared minus 3x plus 2 and 4x squared plus 8x plus 1. Now, if you remember, the degree of a polynomial is the power, the highest power that you see in the polynomial. So these are both second degree polynomials because we have an x squared term in each one. Okay, so there's two methods that we're going to use for adding polynomials. Method one is called the vertical method. We're going to add them vertically. And so just like the name sounds, we're going to put them one on top of the other. So we'll start with the first one. That's 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. And now when you write the second polynomial, polynomial, you want to write it underneath the first one and you want to line up the like terms. So what I mean is the x squared terms want to be underneath each other and the x terms want to be underneath each other and then the constant terms want to be underneath each other. Okay, so we have a 4x squared. I'm going to put that underneath the 5x squared term. And then I have an 8x. I'm going to put that underneath the negative 3x term. So it's a plus 8x. And then I have a plus 1. I'm going to put that underneath the plus 2. So they're all lined up. And then I'm going to add them. And I just add them term by term. So the x squared terms, I have a 5 plus a 4. That's 9x squared. And then the x terms, I have negative 3 plus 8. That's a positive 5x. And then plus 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, that's 3. Okay, so that's the vertical method. Now I'm going to show you the other method. You can probably guess what it is. That's the horizontal method. So the horizontal method should give you the same answer as the vertical method. It actually doesn't matter which one you use. I prefer the horizontal method just because it takes up a little less room on the paper, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, they're basically the same thing. So for this one, I'm going to group like terms. So I have a 5x squared and a 4x squared. I'm going to just group them together in parentheses, 5x squared plus 4x squared. And then I'm going to group together the x terms. So I have plus, and then I have a negative 3x plus an 8x. And then I'm going to group together the constant terms. I have a 2 plus a 1. Okay, so now I'm just going to add the things that are together in parentheses. So 5x squared plus 4x squared, that's 9x squared. And then negative 3x plus 8x, that's positive 5x. And then 2 plus 1, that's 3. So you see you get the same answer either way. And if you get used to adding polynomials, you might even be able to skip this intermediate step where you group them and just go right to the last step. So as you get more practice, eventually you're going to want to be able to do that, to start with these and then just to go right to the last step. But for now, if you need to, I would write them out either using the horizontal method or using the vertical method.